Hello and welcome back to sarahstexturecrafts.com I am Sarah and I would love today to give you a review on some knitting accessories. I have been very lucky to be in contact with a fellow Etsy seller, Tabs of RosieRetro.etsy.com and I'll show you her card. Isn't that cute? And she Amongst many things, she dyes her own yarn, her own wool tops, she makes stitch markers. She has now launched herself into making very lovely project bags. So I wanted to share my purchase with you today and also to review the product for you here on uh, the website. I'm going to use this as part of um, my Dreaming in Fibre podcast, which I will link to uh, here on the video and I am also going to talk more on that particular podcast and I'll put the episode number down here. I will talk more about a giveaway that I have coming up for you to win your very own project bag from tabs at rosyretro.etsy.com so let me show you my bag. Here it is. Cute isn't it? This is uh, the small bag it is ideal I, for sock knitting or for the start of shawls or you know like a hat project or anything like that. Excuse the noise there, that's my uh, computer. I'm currently uploading um, several review videos today so let's carry on. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the small bag, so it's ideal very much for smaller projects or for the beginning of larger projects. And also for me, it's going to be perfect for travelling because I do a lot of trade shows where I sell my own fibre and wool. Um, and I often, if I'm not demoing something, then I need to have something to, to keep me busy on those few moments where I get some downtime, you know, for example, lunchtime, that kind of thing. So I um, was in conversation with, with Tabs and found out that she started making these project bags so I thought it would be a great idea to get myself one. So this is her pink polka dot bag. The great thing about these little bags is they are made from repurposed vintage fabric and um, vintage fabric rolls that she's found on her travels locally. So everything you buy will be from a unique batch if it is not completely unique from her other fabric options um, and she does these lovely small decorations here like these little added on roses and things so you get a little bit extra um, in terms of decoration. What I love about this um, particularly for the fact that I will be travelling with it is that I get this um, little attachment here so that I can loop it onto um, a belt loop or something like that. I can also, because the draw cord is long enough, I can also hang that from my hand so if I'm knitting or I could even pop a very small spindle in there with some wool I could pop those back into the bag very quickly when it comes to serving another customer. Um, so. I really love that about this bag. I've got 100 grams of my own hand spun in there which is not been caked up so it's quite sort of chunky at the moment and that fits really nicely into the bag. Um, everything is very well um, made. There are no exposed seams so everything is nice and neatly turned in into the lining so okay sorry about that I had a quick phone call um, so, as I was saying, there are no exposed seams, so the great thing about this is you're not going to catch any of your wool or fibre into exposed seams um, and potentially leave fluff on the inside of the bag, which may contaminate your project or your next project and so on, so uh, that's really nice that she's done that. It feels really sturdy as well, um, although it doesn't necessarily stand up on its own. Um, Oh, it's doing quite well there. Um, I think it is a good all-round project bag and certainly value for money. If I remember right, and I just want to check this. Um, let me find Etsy and my purchases. 
yeah this um, knitting project bag which is the small project bag is nine pounds uh, her shipping is very reasonable at the moment she has UK shipping at 2.99 uh, with a flat rate so basically you can buy as many items as you like and it will ship for 2.99 if I go into the shop now I'm pretty sure that she has as of today she has about 15 different project bags I know that certainly um, when she sells she sells out quite quickly so it is really important if you are interested in one of these to pop over and um, if you can't see uh, any project bags left in the shop then contact tabs because she is wonderful to deal with and um, very quick shipping as well so I know that if she hasn't got anything she can certainly let you know when her next shop update is and um, what she will have currently available um, I'm not sure if she does custom orders um, that's something you would have to ask. I know certainly, as I say, her fabrics are very much um, vintage. So these will be things that she's been able to pick up on her travels, so they will be of a limited run. Um, she has some really quite nice designs in her shop at the moment, uh, so it's worth getting in touch with her and certainly taking a look at what she's got when you are around to buy so I'm really looking forward to using that it's certainly going to um, help me when I'm at shows take smaller knitting projects with me and um, work away on them quite nicely I also have a giveaway bag this is again same style uh, a small project bag it will be ideal for socks um, or, or a small hat or something like that. Again, it has the toggle, um, it has rosy retro uh, label on it and it has a cute little um, decorational trim around the top there. Again, toggle is nice and long so that you can wrap that around your wrist and travel quite nicely and also it's a great little size that you can pop it into your handbag if you want to take it to work and work on some socks while you're there. This giveaway is going to be part of a spin and knit along on my Ravelry group Sarah's Texture Crafts on, yeah as I say on Ravelry. <laughs> so um, I would love you to come and join the group and enter the competition with your chance to win that. If you view my um, Dreaming in Fibre episode, and I'll put the number episode number down here for you, you will be able to find out how to enter that, how to come and spin and nest along with us, and how to get your hands on your very own project bag. There are a couple of other prizes that will also be available. So definitely worth coming along having a chat with us and um, yeah spinning along and knitting along with us and entering for your chance to win so thank you very much to tabs from rosyretro.etsy.com for your um, fantastic project bags and I'm really happy to be able to bring my review to all of my watchers so that's Rosie's Retro's card once again and with that, I will leave you to enjoy your crafting. Okay, cheers.